we'll wait for this to come up and then we will go I will try to be extremely short today there we go so as you hop on just let me know Happy Thanksgiving to those of you hopping on. Brandon, I'm, I promise, stay stay with me. I'm going to try to be as short as possible. I'm going to let a few people jump on and then I'm going to go straight into it. I'm not even opening my Bible. I have a few scriptures already prepared in my notes. And I'm going to stick to it. So, let me know when you're hopping on. Good morning, Paula. Happy Thanksgiving up there in New York. Good morning, Jeff Zaniga. Happy Thanksgiving in Rockwall. Brandon, did I see uh, Brian Fetzner post a picture with you this morning? Is he there in Atlanta? That's awesome. If he is, tell him I love him. Give him a hug from me. If you hear any lip licking, that's the dog already enjoying turkey in the background. So, All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get started now. So we are talking about forgiveness this week and the guys have done a really awesome job about talking about individual forgiveness and they have been on point this week. Good morning, Kaisha from Indiana. Good morning, Mallory from three feet in front of me. Good morning, Q. Well, Brandon, give him a hug from me. Tell him I love him. So today I want to talk about forgiveness of the Father um, and just to show how much he forgives us, how much he loves us and who he is. So we all know John three sixteen and 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Good morning, Xavier from Roy City. Congratulations. You're all moved into your new house. So we see here that God gave His Son so that we could be forgiven. He gave so that His Son so that we could be brought into the kingdom of light. Not to condemn us, but that we might be saved. We also, in Psalms 103.12, Good morning, Lisa. I'm assuming you're on the couch with Xavier. Or in the kitchen. Y'all might be, I don't know where y'all are. Or still in bed. Psalm 103.12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so he has removed our transgressions from us. So many people like to say, oh, we've done too much. Oh, they like to say, the Lindsay Wright, good morning, Lindsay. Glad we get to see you this week. Some people get held back in their life by thinking they've done too much. The enemy or people or their flesh tell them, oh, you've done way too much. But God says that in Psalms 103, he sets the sin as far as east from the west. He could have easily said something else. The reason he didn't say north to the south is because if you start on the North Pole, you get to the South Pole, then you start going north again. But if you get somewhere on the globe and you go east, you continually go east if you go in a straight line. So he's setting our sins far apart from us. Also, Micah 7.19 says this, He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all of our sins into the depths of the sea. So he cast our sins into the sea. He he forgets about them. He forgives us. Second Corinthians five seventeen. If you've been watching for a while, you know this is my favorite verse. It says, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have been put away, all old things have been put away, and all things have become new. He makes us brand new. He forgives us for everything. We can never do too much for God. And if, if you look in Psalm 78, I'm not going to read it because I promised Brandon I would be short. But in Psalm 78, verses 9 through 25, it, God lays out how Israel basically turned their back on him, complained against him after he provided them bread, manna, water from the rock twice, set them free from the, from Egypt. And Israel just complained and complained and complained and complained to where God became angry. But then he still showed up on their behalf. He still blessed them. He still provided a way for them. So it's the same way with us. No matter how much you think you've done, no matter if you think you've done too much, 
God will still forgive you. He still loves you. He still has a plan for your life. I remember the day that I prayed that prayer, July 4th, 2006. I said, Lord, if you still love me, if you still have a plan for me, if you can still use me, forgive me now. And I rededicated my life to the Lord. And my life was never the same again today. So, Brian Fetzner, I love you, man. It was great seeing you a few months ago in New York. Um, so that was it this morning. But before we go, I know that there are a lot of people dealing with stuff. This is the holiday time. I just want to... No, I did not make this t-shirt. This is a limited edition. There, You can't get them. Um, I want to pray for anyone that is sick. And then I want to give you... Maybe you're watching... Maybe I don't know how you came across this. Maybe you don't even know how you came across this. But you say, I need to get my life right with the Lord today. I'm going to give you that opportunity as well. So let's just pray. Father, I thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice, whether they're watching live, whether they're watching sometime later in the future. I guess that'd be earlier in the future. Whatever. I thank you, Father, that your goodness and your mercy pursue us every day of our lives. I thank you that by your stripes, by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. I speak to each and every person that is going through sickness and disease right now. I thank you that your name is the name above all names, the name above every manner of sickness and disease. I thank you that we are to be like Jesus, and Jesus went into towns and villages, and all manners of sicknesses and diseases were healed. So I speak to every manner of sickness and disease right now, and I command you to be gone from people's bodies in Jesus' name. I speak to COVID-19. I speak to cancer. I speak to heart issues. I speak to lung issues. I speak to arthritis, allergies, sinus, anything. Anything that has a name that holds itself up against the Word of God must go now in Jesus' name. We declare that and we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, like I said, if you want to give your life to the Lord, if you want to rededicate your life, if you just want to make sure that if something happened to you today that you would spend eternity in heaven, I want you to pray this with me out loud now. So just repeat this. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, I thank you that you died for me. I believe you've risen and you're coming back for me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Give me a hunger for the things of God, a passion for the lost, and a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am forgiven. I am set free. I am born again. And I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. Well, we love you guys so much. If you ever need anything, reach out to us. You can message us on Facebook. You can email us. Uh, you can contact us on the website. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. That We have so much to be thankful for this year. Even in the midst of 2020, of COVID, of lockdowns, of economy crisis, of election, who knows what you want to call it. This has been mine and my family's best year. So we love you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow.